How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow. Don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. I repainted my house so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes, I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort, too. Apartments are so expensive these days. Only rich people can afford to live in them. My landlord raised the rent, so I'm moving out. Where will you live? I don't know yet. I have to search for an apartment. Are you going to live alone? Well. I've never had a roommate before. I would find one if I were you. It would be helpful in paying the rent. Post an ad on Craigslist and see who replies. If a psycho becomes my roommate, I'll blame you. If that happens, I'll stay far away from your apartment. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? 
You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montebello. All right, then what's next? Read the list of Montebello buses going to that stop. There are three. How do I choose one? They are all going to the same place? Yes, it looks like they are. Then choose the bus based on the timetable. This is the bus that gets me there the soonest. You'd better get moving. It'll be here soon. I just missed my bus. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. The next one comes in 10 minutes. You won't make it to work on time. What should I do? Ask the next bus driver for help. How can he possibly help me? He could tell you which bus to ride. Do you think it's all right to ride a different bus? Sure, as long as you get to work on time. I just hope I won't get lost. You won't. Besides, it's good not to sit idly by. Where do I buy my bus ticket? You buy it in the bus. Isn't there a station? Yes, but that's not where you buy tickets. Does the bus driver give me my ticket? The bus driver has a machine that does. Do I buy a new ticket every time I ride the bus? Yes, but if you plan to ride several buses, buy a day pass. Why should I buy a day pass? It would be cheaper than buying several tickets. So I just wait for the bus to get here? Yes, and make sure you have change. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish, and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge! And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time.
What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawnmower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually you'll get used to this one. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window? No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus, too. 
You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course. It only comes once a year. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. Do you like sports? Of course I do. Awesome! What's your favorite one? Hockey. It's the best sport there is. It's too violent for me. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yes, it looks dangerous. Not really. I've been playing for five years and I'm okay. Is that why you're missing your front teeth? Yes, but it's not that bad. It looks painful. A little. Everything else about hockey is fun. Cool, but I'll stick to golf. Hi, you're David's mom, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm James's mom. They play on the same team. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Will David be playing in the big game on Saturday? I'm afraid not. He's fighting a cold. That's terrible. A bug has been going around. He missed a lot of school though. I see. I'll, I'll ask David to deliver his homework. That would be a great help. Thank you. It's no problem at all.
I want to buy my son a skateboard. Do you know what kind of board he'd like? I was thinking a basic board. There are many different kinds. Is there one that is safer than the others? Not really. You should buy safety equipment. What should I buy? A helmet, some elbow pads, and some knee pads. Can I also have some wrist guards? Certainly. You may choose any color you'd like. I came for a skateboard and left with the whole store. Well, safety always comes first. Dad, I don't have my own car. Your mom and I talked to you about this. I wasn't paying attention. We don't have enough money for a new car. Can't we just take some loans? You can just use the old car. It's so ugly, though. Money doesn't grow on trees. Everyone at school has a new car. Get a job and buy one yourself. But no one wants to hire me. Then you're going to have to do drive an old car. My license plate number came in today. Do you like it? It's just some random numbers and letters. You should customize it. I can do that? Yeah, I did. What does yours say? Mine says Cali 95. Why did you choose that? I love California and I was born in 1995. That is pretty clever. Thanks. You could do something similar. Are you sure you want to go to Seattle? Yes, I am sure. It's an eight-hour drive. I know. Let's go. If you say so. I'll drive for the first four hours. I'll drive for the last four hours. Did you bring food? I brought sandwiches and bottles of water. Good. I brought the napkins. Let's get gas first. Yes, we need a lot of it. Are you going to camp this summer? I don't think so. Why not? I'm kind of traumatized from last year. What happened last year? I got a cramp while swimming and almost drowned. I thought you took swimming lessons last semester. I did, but I'm still afraid. Anything could happen. You just have to trust in your abilities. Do you really think I'll be okay? I know you will. You swim like a fish now. Thanks for your encouragement. I think I will go after all. Why is this soccer ball pink? I bought it at the breast cancer fair. I thought that all soccer balls are black and white. The pattern isn't what makes it a soccer ball. Then what makes it a soccer ball? What's important is the material it's made from. What's so special about the material? It allows the ball to bounce, but not too much. I see. It would be hard to control a bouncy ball. My ball is a little flat, though. We'd better fill it up. If we don't, it won't even roll. Have you seen the air pump? I'm surprised to see you out running. I want to join the track team next semester. Is that why you're training so hard? Yes, I want to be in shape for tryouts. You just don't run to get in shape. What should I do then? You should do some weight training too. What good is weight training? It will give you strong legs so you can run well. If my legs get too muscular, I'll look like a frog. Frogs are pretty fast. That's true. Maybe as a frog, I'd win all the races. You sure are buying a lot of stuff. It's all the equipment I need for basketball. What do you need besides a ball and a hoop? 
All good players have a good pair of shoes. That makes three things. You should also wear comfortable clothes when you play. What about all the candy you're buying? A player has to stay energized. I don't think it's good to run on sugar. Then I'll eat it while I'm watching the basketball game. Are you watching it on television? Yes, there's a big game on Sunday. I want to try out for the tennis team. Our school doesn't have a tennis team. Yes, it does. They were practicing after school yesterday. Were they using a birdie? Of course not. That'd be animal abuse. A birdie is a plastic, red-nosed tool for badminton. Oh, I see. Yes, they were using a red tool. Then the sport you saw was definitely badminton. Is that also why the rackets were so small and thin? Yes. It's w somewhat similar to tennis, though. Well, in that case, I want to join the badminton team. I wish you the best of luck. What are those men doing with brooms? I think those are special brushes. Are they going to clean the ice? It looks like this is some kind of sport event. Look, they're sweeping in front of that rock. The internet said that the sport is called curling. It doesn't seem like a real sport to me. Me either. All they do is throw the rocks. How did this sport make it into the Olympics? I don't know, but I think it's boring. Should I change the channel? I wouldn't mind if you did. You've been watching a lot of soccer lately. There's a different game shown every day. That's because of the World Cup. Everyone is talking about it all the time. Have you watched every single game? No, I only watch the really important teams. How do you choose which teams are important? Well, I cheer for the countries my parents are from. What other teams do you cheer for? Well, this country's team, of course. How do you choose from all other teams? That's easy. I cheer for the one with the cutest players. I've never been in a sports shop before. I love looking at all of the equipment. Everything is so colorful and new. It's so that players can personalize their equipment. There are so many different sports I've never heard of before. They have sports stuff from all over the world. I feel like I want to try harder in sports now. Why do you have that feeling? That way, I'll know how to use all of this equipment. For now, I think it's best to stick to the basics. I agree, but being in here still makes me excited. Me too, especially when there's a sale. Great shirt! Go Dodgers! It's great to find a fellow fan. Do you think we have a chance at winning this year? Of course. The coach will not let us down. Have you ever been to an actual game? I try to go to at least one every season. What's it like? It's a great experience. Children love going to the stadium. Maybe I'll take my son to a game. Just keep an eye out for flying balls. I'd be more worried about cavities from sweets. It's just a baseball game. You're supposed to pig out. My car was stolen. I am so sorry to hear that. Did you happen to see anything suspicious yesterday? Well, I did see a man looking at your car. What time did you see this man? I saw him at about 2 p.m. I wasn't home at that time. Then the man I saw could be the criminal. What did he look like? I couldn't really see his face. I'll never find the criminal. I hope you have a good insurance plan. Hi, 
Is there a specific car you're looking for? I'm looking for a convertible. We have a wide selection right here. I don't see what I want here. Really? We have over 100 convertibles. I'm interested in a purple convertible. That's a rare color in any car dealer. I guess I have to go elsewhere. Don't go. We have colors close to purple. Like what exactly? We have blue cars. Blue is blue. Purple is purple. Goodbye. Is your seat belt on? Of course it is. I can tell you're lying. Fine. The truth is, I never put my seat belt on. Why not? That's so dangerous. It feels so uncomfortable. Say that after you get into a car accident. I'm never going to get into an accident. There are other reasons you should put on your seat belt. And that is? You're going to get a ticket. Really? Fine. I'll put my seat belt on. Are you nervous for your driving test? Yeah. I don't want to fail. You won't. You have been practicing a lot. There's one thing I was never good at. What is that one thing? Right turns. What's wrong with your right turns? They're too wide. We can practice right now. You would do that for me? Of course. I want you to pass. All right. Let's do this. I really like your shoes. Thank you. Where did you buy them? I bought them at a store in the mall. Were they very expensive? They were around $40. They look very comfortable. They are extremely comfortable. Do they come in many other colors? I saw several different ones when I bought them. Maybe I'll buy myself a pair. They are definitely worth the money. Are you interested in buying this bike? That thing? I don't think so. I assure you, it is a wonderful sale. It looks rusted. That can be fixed with a light coat of paint. The chain looks old. Just oil it a little and it will be good as new. The seat is uncomfortable. All great bikes have high seats like this. Well, how much are you asking for it? For this fantastic find, only $140. No way. If it is so valuable, sell it to the museum. Excuse me, I'd like your opinion on something. Of course, sir. How may I help you? I want to buy my wife a new scarf. That is very thoughtful of you. Her favorite color is blue, so I chose blue scarves. What do you need me to do? Well, I was wondering which scarf was the prettiest. I see. Well, this one seems a little too dark. What about this one? Maybe something with a nicer pattern. Is this one all right? That one is perfect. I'm sure she'll love it. That skateboard doesn't have any wheels. That's not a skateboard. Oh, is it a surfboard then? No, that's a snowboard. It's amazing how similar yet different those three sports are. They all take a lot of practice and dedication. I think I'd like snowboarding best. Why do you like it most? When you wipe out, you fall in fluffy white snow. That does sound better than falling on concrete. It's also better than drowning in the ocean. Snowboards are the best kind of board in my book. This is a weird looking golf club. That's not a golf club. What is it then? It's a hockey stick. Is hockey the game the men play on ice? Yes, it is. It's a difficult game. 
It reminds me a lot of soccer. I think hockey is more difficult than soccer. Why do you think that? Well, you have to skate. Soccer is just kicking. I think there is more to it than that. Either way, I'd be terrible at both. Our skates are so different. What do you mean? Your wheels are all in a line, and mine are not. Oh, that's because these are roller blades. They look difficult to use. They just go a little faster. Our skates show our differences in personality. Why are you saying that? Yours are sharp and sporty, but mine are cute and practical. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Anyways, let's go back to skating. Let's go. I cleaned my car yesterday. It's not clean anymore. What happened? Take a look. Oh no, there's bird poop. That's unfortunate since you just washed it. Can you wash my car? I'll wash it for fifteen dollars. This can be your birthday gift to me. It's a deal. Have fun washing the poop off. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. Excuse me, can you please help me? What's the problem? My car stopped in the middle of the road. Did you run out of gas? Yes. I think I did. There is no gas station within walking distance. May I please borrow your phone? Are you planning to call a tow service? Yes, I think it's all I can do. If you'd like, I'll drive you to the station. Thank you so much. It's no problem. Let's get going. I hate driving in this city. Why do you hate it? There's traffic everywhere you go. I know that can be stressful. How do you handle it? It's just about finding two things. And what is that? First, you need to find a lot of patience. What's the second thing? Then you need to find a lot of shortcuts. Can you show me some of these shortcuts? Sure. I'll show you around tomorrow. Thank you so much. I was about to go crazy. I think my car needs an oil change. Why don't you go buy the oil and do it yourself? I am not familiar with the process. I can teach you to do it if you'd like. I'd be grateful if you did. How about next week? That is too long from now. Can you do it sometime this week? I have too much work to do it this week. Then maybe you should take it to the mechanic. Where can I find one nearby? Look it up in the yellow pages or even online. Excuse me. Hello. How can I help you? I'm interested in buying a membership card. That's great. How did you hear about us? A friend of mine has a membership with you. What services are you interested in? I would like to have access to the swimming pool. Would you also like to work out in the gym? Yes, I would. Here is a listing of our prices. I think this plan is best for me. All right. Just fill out this paperwork, and that's all. Can you teach me to swim? Why don't you take a class instead? Swim classes are embarrassing. I suppose I can teach you. How did you learn to swim? My father threw me into a lake when I was four years old. You could have drowned. I could have, but I swam instead. Is that how you plan to teach me? It's the best way to learn. I think I will sign up for the class after all. Okay. That is less work for me. Where are you going? 
I'm going to buy some flowers for Valentine's Day. Who are the flowers for? My mom, my sister, and my girlfriend. Wow, you are very thoughtful. I don't really know which flowers to buy, though. Well, for your girlfriend, something romantic. Red roses, of course. For your mother, something that smells nice. Carnations. She loves carnations. And for your sister? I'll buy her some pink roses. Thanks for your help. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. I'm thinking of buying a bicycle. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, it would help me beat the car traffic. It would also save you a lot on gas money. I'm kind of scared, though. Scared of what? I don't want to fall. As long as you practice, you should be fine. Yes, but I could also get hit by a car. I think you will be okay. Just make sure to buy a helmet, too. The traffic in this lane is terrible. Why do you think that is? Probably some car accident. You should switch to another lane. Okay, I'll switch to the right lane. Wait, there's a car coming. That was scary. I almost hit that car. How could you not see that? I didn't look in the rearview mirror. You are such a bad driver. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I think it's only you who makes such mistakes. Make a right turn here. Watch out! There's a person walking. I see him. He walks so slowly. Is he doing this on purpose? Maybe we should tell him to speed up. That's kind of mean. Then we'll wait. I know. I can honk at him. That is even worse than talking to him. Forget it. I'm driving straight ahead. You're more impatient than I thought. You got a new car? How did you know? I saw it in your driveway. What do you think of it? It's really fancy. Yeah, it was expensive. How much was it? It was over a hundred thousand dollars. That's four times as much as my car. It's a brand name car. You must be pretty rich then. No, I just really like fancy cars. Hey, can I get a ride? I don't know you very well. We're in the same math class. I know. But we're just classmates. Please, my house is far away and it's hot. You can take the bus. The bus doesn't come for another hour. Surely you can wait. No, I can't. I have to be home soon. I'll drive you, but only for a price. You name it. Buy me dinner. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved two hundred dollars. Wow! I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online too? You probably could. 
They have everything online nowadays. That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. I want to buy this, but $40 is too expensive. It is a high quality item and worth every penny. It looks a little bit dirty. It is just dusty from being on the shelf. If no one has bought it, it can't be so valuable. It is my last one because I am almost sold out. I'll buy it if you cut the price in half. That is too cheap. I'll make no money. This product is cheap quality. I'll lose money. I'll give it to you for $35. Make it $30 and you've got a deal. All right, $30 sounds fine. Can you help me? Maybe I can. I need this dress in a size 8. If it's not on the rack, we don't have it. Can you just check for me? We don't have that dress in a size 8. But you didn't even check. Look, I'm really tired. I think you mean lazy. Can you ask another employee? I want to talk to your manager. No, I'll go find the dress. Does this hat match my suit? Well, it's the same color. That's good enough for me. Are you going to a dinner party? No, I'm going to a job interview. Then maybe you should wear a tie. That's a good idea. Also, I would not wear the hat if I were you. Why not? It matches well. You look like a mobster from the movies. Don't hats make you look more professional? Only if you're applying to be a hitman. Do you like baseball? I've never watched a game. You've never even seen it on television? I don't own a television set. We should go watch a game one day. Where can we watch a baseball game? In a baseball stadium. There are entire stadiums just for playing baseball? Yes. They even wrote a song about it. I never knew it was such a popular sport. Do you want to go play catch in the park? Sounds good to me. What happened to your eye? I was punched in the eye. You got into a fight? Yes, but it's all right. I don't think fighting is okay. I was fighting in a boxing match. Are you taking boxing lessons? Yes, I go every evening. Have you ever fought in a competition? Yes, but I didn't make it to the finals. Well, maybe you should wait until your eye heals to compete again. I definitely will. It's hard to box with only one eye open. I'm so sore from running. Maybe you've been practicing too hard. I want to do well on the big race next week. After all that practicing, you'll be too tired to run. I won't. I'm trying to get faster, though. You're pretty fast. I feel like my grandma can run faster than me. You just have to believe in yourself, and you'll do well. I always get nervous before races. Maybe you should run distance races instead. Do you really think I have a good endurance? Of course. Otherwise, you couldn't train this hard. Do you like my new bicycle? It looks very sporty. It's a racing bike. I bought it so I could be in the, tri in the triathlon. Wow! I hear triathlons are difficult. You have to train hard for them. Are triathlons always based on the same three sports? Yes, they are cycling, running, and swimming. It's so exciting. I'll be sure to watch you compete. It's not a competition against others. It's not? No one can win first place? You can, but I just want to prove to myself I can do it. 
I'm sure you can. I'll even sponsor you in the race. Poor cream. What's that white stuff on your food? It's sour cream. Want to try some? I don't think so. It sounds gross. It's not really sour. Why is it called sour cream then? I think it's because they let the milk go sour to make it. You're eating sour milk? Yuck! Cheese is made in a similar way. I thought cheese was made from bacteria. Of course! Bacteria cause milk to go sour. Dairy products are so strange. Even so, I think they're delicious. Don't spoil your dinner. James, eat your candy after dinner, please. I just want to eat a little now. You'll spoil your dinner. My food won't rot if I eat a little candy. What do you mean? When food spoils, it goes bad. My food won't go bad. It won't rot, but it won't taste the same either. Why won't it taste the same? Well, if you eat the candy now, it will stay in your mouth. I guess so. Why is that bad? I don't think you want blueberry-flavored mashed potatoes. You're right. I don't. I'll eat the candy later. Cotton candy. I wish I could touch the clouds. I bet they would be soft like cotton candy. Maybe they're made of cotton candy. That's impossible. Well, they're both fluffy. That's all they have in common. Both clouds and cotton candy dissolve with water. Clouds don't dissolve with water. Then why do they disappear after it rains? That's actually a good observation. I never want to try white cotton candy, though. Me neither. I imagine it would taste like mint. Bacon. I love putting bacon in everything I cook. It is a delicious food. Did you know you can even put it in chocolate? That's amazing! It tastes wonderful. They're my two favorite things. I heard bacon is actually bad for you, though. How can something so delicious be bad? It makes it harder to pump blood through your body. That sounds dangerous. I heard it can really shorten your life. I'd rather live a short life happily eating bacon. I think you need to work on your priorities. Very confusing. There are so many different kinds of berries. I can't tell some of them apart. Me neither. It is a difficult task. Raspberries and blackberries have the same shape. Just remember that raspberries are red. Then why is raspberry candy always colored blue? I think that's because cherry flavor is already red. Blueberries are even more confusing. Why? They're the blue ones. Well, when you mash them, they look purple. I don't think anyone eats mashed blueberries. It's easier to eat them all in a pie. Then they all taste good together. Garlic. I'm making the food for the party tomorrow. I heard you are a fantastic cook. Thank you. I do my best. Do you have everything you need? I just need a few more items. Vegetables are so expensive. It's not so bad when they're not charged by the pound. What about when you need a lot of one kind? It's usually fine, except I always buy too much garlic. It's because the packages sell five heads instead of one. I can never use all the garlic, and it goes bad. Well, at least your house will be safe from vampires. A public pool. This is the hottest summer ever. 
I bet you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. There has to be some way to cool off. Let's go to the mall. It's air conditioned. I bet the whole city will be there. Then let's watch TV at our house. That sounds boring. There's nothing good on TV. What do you want to do then? Let's go to the pool to swim. I think I'll pass. Why don't you want to go? If the sidewalk can fry an egg, the water will boil us. A get well card. David did not come to work again today. He must be very sick to be absent the whole week. My sister made him some soup yesterday. Soup is very good for sick people to eat. Apparently, it wasn't good enough. What else does one do for a sick person? I'm going to send him a get well card. That is very nice of you. Maybe I'll get the whole office to sign it. Good idea, but I suggest you mail it to him. Why can't I take it to him? If you catch his cold, it will mean more work for us. Ceiling fans. My house is much too stuffy nowadays. It's the hot weather. I bought an air conditioner, but it doesn't help at night. I heard it's bad to leave it on at night. Why can't I leave it on at night? It causes you to catch cold. I bought a fan, but it makes too much noise. Why don't you install a ceiling fan? Are they quiet? Yes. And inexpensive too. Is it easy to install? Yes. If they weren't, they'd fall on people all the time. An earthquake. Did you feel the earthquake last night? Yes. The whole house was shaking. I was afraid the windows would shatter. A lot of my collectibles fell off their shelves. Did they break? Unfortunately, some of them can be fixed, though. My cat was outside when the earthquake started. Oh no, that's terrible. Is she okay? She's fine. Animals have good natural instincts. I wish people could predict earthquakes too. I think it would just make people panic more easily. You're right. Maybe it's best to leave it to the cats. Shiny shoes. Are you wearing those shoes with your suit? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Well, they are very dirty and scuffed up. They're the only ones I have. Your shoes are fine, but you should shine them. Do I have to? It would make a good impression. How does being shiny make a good impression? Your employer will think you are very neat. Is that important? A neat person is more likely to be hired. Unless they're late for work from shining their shoes. Mystery meat. What is in this can? I don't know. It doesn't have a label. It looks like a corned beef can. Well then, open it and we'll cook it. It smells a little strange. Maybe it went bad. Why is the dog so excited? Dogs love meat, so he can probably smell it. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is. What do you think it is? It's the dog's canned dog food. We're so lucky he discovered that before we did. Going Dutch. Let's go get lunch. Where do you want to go? Let's try that new restaurant down the street. Only if you're treating. I think it's your turn to pay the bill. I paid it last time. I think you're wrong. It's an expensive restaurant. I really want to try it, though. If you want to go in, we'll pay separate bills. That sounds fine to me. 
Maybe we should do that more often. Frozen yogurt. Do you want to get some ice cream? Ice cream is really fattening. All desserts are fattening. Why don't we just eat some yogurt? I want something cooler. Haven't you ever heard of frozen yogurt? I don't think that's really yogurt. Is it ice cream then? I think it's healthier than ice cream. It tastes good, and that's all I care about. Well then, let's get some frozen yogurt. All right. I just don't know where to buy it. Imported chocolates. My grandma bought me some chocolates yesterday. That is an impressive looking box. She said they were imported chocolates. What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds impressive. I think it means that they come from another country. Would people go through that much trouble for candy? Chocolate is considered a delicacy in some places. It's ironic that it's almost worthless here. Have you tried it yet? Yes, it's delicious. Well, that's imported chocolate for you. Strawberry banana. This is the most amazing smoothie ever. What is so amazing about it? It's made with a fruit humans invented. How did humans invent a fruit? I think the process is called crossbreeding. That's amazing. What is the fruit called? The name is a little uncreative. Oh, tell it to me. It's a strawberry banana. You mean you got excited over a strawberry banana smoothie? Wasn't making two fruits into one a great idea? I think you misunderstood this whole situation. Fish and chips. The fish and chips dish looks delicious. Do they let you choose the chips you want? Maybe they're just salted potato chips. The picture on the menu shows French fries. Maybe that's an alternate choice. I don't think so. No other chips are listed. Do you think maybe the French fries are the chips? Maybe they're both made from potatoes. This is a very confusing menu. I agree. They must get a lot of complaints. Oh well, you can have the chips. I think you mean French fries. A community tree. Do you have a chainsaw? Yes, but why do you need it? I want to cut down the tree in my yard. What's wrong with it? It's a beautiful tree. It drops too many leaves. There are squirrels in that tree. The roots messed up my water system. The neighborhood children love climbing it. Birds land on it and poop on my car. People love the romantic and cooling shade it gives. I suppose the tree does have some good points. If you see the good, the bad won't seem so bad. The phone bill. You didn't answer your phone last night. The phone company cut my wireless. Why? Did you pay your phone bill? I refused to pay the last one. Why didn't you want to pay it? It was much too high. Did you make many long distance calls? I thought it was free to call others' cell phones. Only if they're from the same provider. Oops, that was my fault. You'd better call the company and apologize for this mess. Can I use your phone? Mine is still dead. Like James Bond. Did you watch that show on TV last night? Do you mean the one about the zombies? Yes. Isn't it a great show? I didn't watch the whole episode. Why not? Didn't you like it? I did, but my son didn't. He is too young to be watching that show. I know. I didn't mean to let him watch it. 
How did he see it then? He snuck into the living room after his bedtime. Children are so crafty in getting what they want. Tell me about it. My son is like James Bond. Rain Dogs. It's been very sunny lately, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Some rain would be very nice. I don't think it will rain for quite some time. Maybe we can do a rain dance and summon rain. Do you be really believe in that? No, but who knows? Maybe it does work. I don't see how dancing around would bring rain. Well, it would be pretty funny looking. The rain gods would laugh at us. Maybe they'll laugh so hard they'll cry. I don't think I want tears as rain. Me neither. I suddenly don't mind the sunny weather. A new phone. Can I have your phone number? What do you want it for? I got a new phone, and all my contacts were deleted. You never called me anyway. What if there's an emergency? You won't need me in an emergency. Why don't you want to give me your number? I don't like giving my phone number to people. All right. Can I have your email address? Quit trying to stalk me. I was only trying to be friendly. Well, stop trying. You're not getting my email either. Getting a ride. Were you invited to Mary's party this weekend? Yes, I was. Why do you ask? I was wondering if you could give me a ride. Where do you live? I live one block away from the school. Okay, that's not too far. By what time should I be ready? Well, when does the party start? The invitation says 5 p.m. I'll pick you up at 4:15. Parties always start a little late. Thank you. I'll buy you a coffee to make up for it. That sounds great. Let's go. Going to the movies. Doesn't that new Godzilla movie look good? The effects are much better than in the old movies. The storyline sounds interesting too. Do you want to go watch it now? All right. I'll check the show times. When is the closest show time? There's one showing in 15 minutes and another in an hour. The theater is more than 15 minutes away. Let's go to the one in an hour then. We'll still have time before it starts. That's okay. We can have lunch while we wait. We'd better get going if we're going to make it on time. You need coffee. I feel so sleepy this morning. Why are you so tired? It's not like you. I was working late last night and didn't get much sleep. Maybe you should drink some coffee. I hear coffee stunts your growth. That's only if you drink it when you're young. Coffee also stains your teeth brown. Just rinse your mouth when you're finished drinking it. It's too hot to drink coffee anyways. There are also iced coffee drinks you can try. I guess an iced coffee does sound pretty good. It's my treat. Maybe once you have some, you'll be more interesting to talk to. Banquet attire. What are you wearing to the banquet tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. What about you? I saw a dress I liked, but it was very expensive. Maybe you can get a job to raise the money. I don't think I'll make enough money to buy it on time. Women's clothing is so expensive. Tell me about it. Men's suits can be expensive too. Maybe I can rent a nice dress. That's a great idea. Where can you do that? I'll just find a store online, then go pick up the clothes. Give me the website so I can rent my dress too.
Apples. Why are some apples green and others red? Won't the green ones turn red later? No, I think they will always stay green. Then they're just different kinds of apples. But what makes them different? Their genetics, I guess. What if a long time ago someone colored apples red? Then why are there green ones? Because the painter made a mistake. What do you think happened to that painter? The apple queen probably chopped off his head. I think you've seen Alice in Wonderland too many times. Paper gum. Do you have any chewing gum? I don't have any, sorry. What are you chewing on then? It's a piece of paper. Do you know how dirty paper is? It was a brand new sheet. Why are you chewing it though? I forgot to buy gum, so I'm chewing paper. What if you get a paper cut on your tongue? I really don't think that will happen. I still say it's a bad idea. But at least I'm chewing something. Bubble tea. Why do they call this bubble tea? I think it's because of the balls on the bottom. They don't look like bubbles to me. I told my sister they were frog eggs. Did she believe you? Yes, she started crying. Why was she crying? She said I was mean for eating baby frogs. I agree with your sister. You're pretty mean. It was just a bit of fun. Well, did you know they're really fish eyes? You're definitely not funny. Chopsticks. What a delicious meal. Don't stick your chopsticks in rice like that. What's wrong with it? It's very bad manners. Oh, I didn't know that. You also shouldn't hold them in your mouth. Where should I put them then? Just lay them neatly across your plate. Chinese restaurants have a lot of rules. Are you kidding? Fancy restaurants have three forks. Never mind. I prefer two sticks to three forks. Definitely. So mind your manners, please. Blue noodles. Don't put your cup noodles in the microwave. Why not? They're better this way. The styrofoam will melt and get in your food. How am I supposed to heat it then? Heat the water and then pour it in. It seems like so much more work though. It's worth it to be healthier. You're right. It takes longer though. It'll take even longer if you keep complaining. Okay, okay, I'll heat the water now. Don't heat it for too long or you'll burn yourself. I think I'll just eat them raw as a snack. Pets. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have two fishes. That's it? Why don't you get more pets? I'm allergic to fur. That's terrible. I love cats and dogs. Do you own any? I have two cats and three dogs. Wow, that's a lot of animals. I know, but I love them so much. I wish I could own a cat someday. You're not happy with your fishes? Not really. I can't even pet them. Maybe you could get a snake. I'm not that desperate. Vacation time. Let's plan a vacation. Yes, I want to go somewhere warm. I was thinking of going somewhere cold and fresh. But I want to spend time on beaches. We always go to beaches. That's because they are always fun. Let's try something different. Where do you want to go? We could visit Alaska. But I don't even like the cold. Come on, the views look beautiful. 
Fine, but I get to plan our vacation next time. Flying on an airplane. Have you ever flown on an airplane? Yes, I've flown in planes many times. Were you scared? The first time I was a little bit scared. But it went away after that? Yes, after the first takeoff, it was very simple and enjoyable. I've never gotten on a plane before. You have never flown in planes? Nope. I'm going to fly for the first time tomorrow. You'll love it. Don't you have first class tickets? No, they're coach tickets. Just take earplugs in case there are babies on board. My shark sister. I'm tired of living with my sister. I don't like living with mine either. There should be a place to send annoying siblings. What kind of place? I don't know. Maybe the zoo. My sister is too wild to live in a zoo. I think she'd scare all the animals. Yeah, and eat all of their food. What about the aquarium? I guess the shark tank would be a good place. It's too bad that humans can't breathe underwater. What a shame. It was the perfect plan. A slow party. How are you enjoying the party? Well, the food is good. You don't sound very excited. The party isn't very exciting. It's only as exciting as you make it. There's really nothing to do here. The music will start in a while. I don't really know how to dance. That's fine. The important thing is to have fun. I look like a headless chicken when I dance. Well, I look like a monkey, but I still dance. Then I won't feel so bad if we dance together. Where is the bathroom? Excuse me, have you been to this house before? Yes, I have. Why do you ask? I had a question, but I couldn't find the host. What do you need to know? I'm looking for the bathroom. Oh, it's in the hallway. Which hallway? Just walk straight and you will see a door. I thought that was just a closet. No, it's the bathroom. Thank you for telling me. I wouldn't have found it. It's no problem. Anime Expo Is that the costume you made for the expo? Yes, it is. I can't wait to wear it. How long did it take you to make it? I spent several weeks on it. It looks amazing. Thank you. I plan to enter it in the contest. I'm sure you will win a prize. I hope so. I want to get some of my money back. Was it very expensive to make? Yes, but the quality makes it worth it. I definitely agree with you. Thank you. Wish me luck in the contest. Dancing I am really looking forward to David's party. Me too. I've been excited all week. Is there anything you're looking forward to? I love dancing, so I can't wait to dance. What kind of dancing do you do? All different kinds, but mostly hip-hop. Isn't that a difficult dance? Not at all. I'll teach you if you'd like. I'd love that. Thank you. I'm sure you will do fine. Just don't make fun of me if I trip and fall. Of course not. It's mostly for fun. Watch your brother. We have to babysit this afternoon. Why can't we ever go out with Mom and Dad? They say they need time away from children. We're not children anymore. I guess that's why we have to watch the baby. What do you want to do first? We can play some video games. Do you want to have ice cream for dinner? That sounds good to me. Oops! 
I spilled chocolate on the carpet. We'll say the baby did it. Maybe babysitting isn't so bad. A day at the beach. It's too cold to go swimming today. That's okay. We can make a sand castle. Dad forgot the buckets at home. We can explore the tide pools. Maybe we'll find some crabs. I think I'd like a seahorse better. We can put them in our aquarium. That's a great idea. How will we carry them without buckets? I forgot. We don't have any. What is there to do now? Wait until it's time to go home. Snow fight. Why did you throw snow at your brother? It was a snowball fight. He said he didn't know you were playing. Well, he should have known once he felt the snowball. Does this have anything to do with the snowman? You mean the one he knocked down? That's exactly the one I mean. Maybe, but I just wanted to have a snowball fight. You should be nicer to your brother. He should be nicer to my snowmen. Go say you're sorry and play nicely. Only if he says he's sorry first. Family photo. Can Spotty be in the family picture too? No, he cannot. Dogs are pets, not family. Spotty is older than I am. That still doesn't make him a human. Sometimes it seems like he can talk. I said no, so the answer is no. What if we put a hat on him? Why would you want to do that? Then he'll look just like my little brother. You're really attached to him, aren't you? Yes, he's like part of the family too. All right, he may be in the photo, but no hat. We can get grandmas. I'm sorry, my grandma took away my phone. What did she do that for? She said it was too late to be talking on the phone. You said you'd call me at 9 p.m. That's the time she sent me to bed. How can anyone sleep so early? She said that was her usual bedtime. I guess old people need to sleep longer. Not really. She woke me up at 5 a.m. this morning. Wow, your grandma really loves sunlight. I'm so exhausted. Having a brother. Is that boy you walk home with your brother? No, he's my neighbor. Does he go to your house often? We hang out there almost every day. Your parents don't mind that? Of course not. They've known him since we were children. He might as well be your brother. I prefer having close friends to having a brother. What's wrong with having a brother? Brothers always fight over things they don't want to share. Are you afraid he'd take your things? No, I'm afraid he'd take my girlfriend. Sisterly advice. How do I get that boy to like me? Just be yourself and act naturally around him. I already do that and I still don't have a boyfriend. You will, once the right boy comes along. How do I know which boy is the right boy? You'll know because you'll fall in love. How do I know if I'm in love or not? All the love songs will make sense. The only one that makes sense now are the sad ones. Don't worry, just be patient and then you'll see. You really think so? Yes, good things come to those who wait. Family reunions. Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? My mother says I'm not allowed to go out this week. Why are you not allowed to go out? 
We are having a family reunion. Your whole extended family is staying over your house? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing my cousins. Are they fun to play with? Yes, last year we played a trick on my grandpa. What did you do? We replaced his denture glue with toothpaste. I don't think that's very funny. It was when his teeth fell into the mashed potatoes. Playing outside. Mother, may I go play outside? Have you cleaned your room yet? I promise I'll do it later. You said that yesterday. Go、I'm... clean it now. I really mean it this time. I'll clean it later. All right. Go play for a bit. Before I go, may I have a cookie? You can have it later. But it's the last one. Someone else might eat it. You can have it now if you go clean your room. I think I'd rather go out and play. Then I think I'll have the cookie for snack. Mother's Day. Do you like this new dress I bought? It looks a little too big for you. I bought it for my mother. Is it for her birthday? No, it's a present for Mother's Day. Is it that time of year already? Yes, Mother's Day is next week. I have to hurry and find a gift for my mother. I'm sure it will be easy. I hope it won't be difficult. By the way, you never told me what you thought of the dress. It's beautiful. I am sure your mother will love it. Father's Day. I don't know what to give my dad for Father's Day. Why don't you give him a card? I already bought a card, but I want to give him a present too. What does your father like to do? He likes to cook. Maybe you can give him a chef's hat. Be serious. That gift is not practical. What other sorts of things does he like? He likes carpentry. What about getting him a new carving set? That sounds like a good idea. Let's look for one online. Hanging out. Let's go to the mall. What for? I would like to buy a new sweater. Didn't you just buy one last week? Yes, but it was too small. It looked fine to me. Maybe to you, but I felt like a sausage while wearing it. Are you going to exchange it? No, I gave it to my sister. Will you buy the same one? Of course not. Okay, let's go find you a sweater. Sending invitations. Do you know John's address? No, I don't. Why do you need it? I want to invite his son to my daughter's party. Wow, how old will she be? She'll be four next week. Children grow like weeds. Yes, they do. His son is almost five now. Why doesn't she give it to him at school? I'm afraid one of them will lose it. Send John a message and ask him his address. I guess I will have to. Either way, I'm sure they will come to the party. At a dinner party. How are you enjoying your evening? I am enjoying it very much. Thank you. How did you come to meet the host? We work for the same company. What is your line of work? We deal with private investments. That sounds like such an important job. That makes it stressful at times. How do you deal with the stress? It's easier when you have good friends around. I agree wholeheartedly. After all, friendship makes the world go round. Amusement parks. I've never been to an amusement park. 
Amusement parks are fun. What is there to do there? There are lots of games to play and rides to enjoy. Is it expensive to go to one? It depends on how much you spend during the day. What about admission? Admission prices depend on the park. I would like to go to one. Just make sure you don't eat before riding the rides. Why not? Just trust me, it will ruin your day. At a supermarket. The prices on fruit have really gone up this year. Yes, they have. It's ridiculous. The fruit is not good quality either. You're right. These apples are bruised. These bananas are too green to be eaten. Fifty cents each is too expensive for bad bananas. The quality of life is going down in general. I blame it on the economy. The state of the economy has been terrible. I hope products are better quality soon. It's like they say, cheap things are often more expensive. I totally agree with you. Brotherly love. I told you not to go into my room. I was just looking for a pencil. You're always making up excuses. My explanations are not excuses. You just want to snoop around my room. I don't want to be in your smelly room. Then stop going into it. Then help me find the things I need. Fine. From now on, ask me for anything you need. You promise not to get angry with me? Only if you promise not to annoy me. Deal. Can I please have a pencil now? Fruit or vegetable. Tomatoes are so strange. What's so weird about them? My dad made a cake with them yesterday. That's a little unusual, I guess. Also, we eat them in salads all the time. Why is this so amazing? You don't usually use vegetables in desserts. Tomatoes are a fruit. That's like saying strawberries are not really berries. Actually, they're not. I feel like I've been lied to all my life. Well, at least you can use them both in salads. Frozen or take out. I am so hungry. Why don't you heat up a TV dinner? I'm tired of eating frozen food. It's not frozen once you heat it up. You know what I mean. Do you want to order a pizza? We had pizza two days ago. We may still have leftovers. Can we go get takeout? Only if you do the driving. On second thought, I'll heat up the TV dinners. You're the laziest person I know. Cake. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. Are you going to bake him a cake? I was thinking about it. What kind were you considering? That's what I'm not sure about. Well, all kids love chocolate. That's true, but it has a lot of sugar. Why don't you make it plain vanilla? I don't think the kids will eat a plain cake. Then mix them and make chocolate swirl cake. That's an amazing idea. Another good idea is to let me lick the frosting bowl. Snacks. I get so hungry during the day. That's not good. You should eat more. Maybe I'll start taking snacks to work. You can store them in the cafeteria fridge. I'm afraid others will eat them, though. You know, you might have a point. I could write my name on the containers. That's a good solution. What kinds of things should I take, though? You can wake up early and make lunch. You know, maybe it's not worth all the effort. You mean you don't want to give up your sleep? 
Hopeless husband. That is a beautiful dress you're wearing. Thank you. It was a gift from my husband. He has excellent taste. It's because he knows exactly what I like. I wish my husband had your husband's taste in fashion. Doesn't he know what you like? Hardly. He bought me an ugly sweater for Christmas. Did you return it? No, I entered it in the gift exchange at work. What did you get in return? A department store gift card. Just make sure you use it for shopping and not for your husband. Silent rave. I went to an interesting rave last night. What was so interesting about it? It was called a silent rave. How can you have a rave without music? Everyone wears headphones and dances to the music. That doesn't sound very fun. It is very convenient. How can it be convenient? To talk to someone, you just take off the earphones. Wow, that does sound convenient. Best of all, I got a cute girl's phone number. Now I see why you liked the rave so much. Making new friends. You're new in town, right? Yes, I just moved in last week. Do you want to come to see a movie tonight? Who else is coming? Just a few of my friends. I'm not sure. I don't know anyone yet. No, but I think you will get along. I hope so. I'm shy around strangers. Just be confident. You'll make a lot of new friends here. I'll try that. Thank you for the invitation. No problem. We'll pick you up at eight. Guitar lessons. Did you hear about the community college? No. What about it? It's offering summer courses. I'm too old to go back to school. Those kind of courses are not the ones I'm talking about. What are you so excited for then? They're offering music lessons. That sounds interesting. What kind? They teach almost every instrument there is. Wow, I've always wanted to play the guitar. Do you really think you can with such fat fingers? Spyware. My computer won't turn on. Did you charge the battery? Yes, I charged it all night. Have you dropped it recently? No, I've never dropped it. Maybe it has a virus. You mean maybe it's sick? No, you may have downloaded spyware. Do you think I need a new computer? Probably, and some spyware protection too. I bet it was the government spying on me. I really doubt you're worth spying on. New webcams. Computers are so amazing. I agree. I love the new webcams. Did you buy one recently? My laptop came with one. My mother loves it. Who does your mother use it to speak with? She calls my great aunt from out of state. I didn't know you had a great aunt. Neither did I. That webcam is bringing your family together. It really is. I cannot wait to meet her. I thought you already talked to her often. I do, but I will meet her in person next month. Mother and son. Son, come here, please. What is it, mother? Did you touch the frosting after I told you not to? No, I didn't touch the frosting. Then tell me, why is it all over your face? I ate some, but I didn't touch it. You should not tell lies. I am not lying. My hands did not go near the frosting. Then how did you eat it? I used a spoon, so I didn't touch it. 
I didn't disobey you. You knew what I meant. No dessert for you tonight. That's all right. I've already had some frosting. An afternoon fishing. Dad, why do you like fishing so much? Fishing is a good way to clear your mind. Is that because everything is so quiet? That it is exactly why. Don't you get bored just sitting and waiting? There is more to fishing than just sitting and waiting. What do you mean? To be a good fisherman, you have to read nature. The same way you read a book? Almost the same way. You'll learn in time. Is that what you like most about fishing? No, I like fishing together with you the most. Be yourself. The girls at school don't want to be my friend. Why don't they want to be your friends? It's because I don't dress like they do. There is nothing wrong with the way you dress. They listen to different music. Music is pointless if you don't enjoy it. They curl their hair and eyelashes. Doing that every day damages your hair. Maybe if I do those things, I can be their friend. It won't be fun to do things you don't enjoy. Then who will be my friend? I'm your friend because I like you for who you are.